I'm a prison officer, I've been a prison officer for the past seven years and as you know, before I was a prison officer I used to work in childcare secure unit. I've been in the sort of security setting for the past 13 years altogether. Um, throughout the COVID, because I work in a setting where it's 24 hours, a, it's a job that's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, there's no, you know, it doesn't close down unfortunately because it's a prison, uh, it's things that need to run. And since the COVID, I've just, I've been, yeah, I haven't had time off through sickness or through any symptoms or anything like that. Um, so I've walked the whole way through, you know, so yeah, those and have been part of the key walking process. How does, how do you feel? Have you felt kind of any pressure? Do, do, do you feel like the people who you are working with or who are, who are in the prison, that they are feeling any pressure? Yeah, of course. Uh, I've. Well, to be honest with you, just two two prisoners on my wing died of COVID nineteen. Um, so obviously we had to have a, a, a full lockdown, uh, which caused some unrest, as you could imagine, with the clientele that we have. Because I work in the high security, it's category B, so it didn't go down too well. And um, we've had a few staff off. Uh, luckily, we've had no staff, um, no no deaths and staff as such. But we've had family members of staff who have passed away. So it's quite it's quite a trying time to be honest with you, you know. Um, yeah, so it's been quite it's been quite trying because obviously Ty is pregnant. She used to work for NHS, so for me to go into that setting where I'm, there's like 800 prisoners and staff, there was all always that worry I was going to bring something home and possibly pass on to my wife and children, which was a big worry, you know, to myself and Ty. How did you deal with that? Did you have to shield at home or, you know, divvy up bedrooms and stuff like that? Or how have you handled or just wash your hands? Is that enough? Yeah, it was It was just more of a case. Because of the situation that we're in with Ty being pregnant, um, it was pretty hard for me to like to be in separate rooms and stuff because obviously she needed help and things like that. Um, yeah, I'd just come in from work. Obviously, I wear a uniform and it'll be straight, straight in the wash hold clothes straight in the wash. The boots would be, my walking boots would be sprayed and cleaned at the front door. Um, and I'd be straight in the shower before I even get to speak to Ty or the children, you know, just so I can just try and clear everything off if anything was on me as such. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Blimey. I didn't even, I didn't even fully appreciate that at all. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean, it's like, wow. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I do understand this care work. Say number one key workers, obviously NHS staff and any healthcare profession whatsoever. Obviously the police, but we do I, we do feel at the prison, as you could imagine, we are one of the forgotten services that actually we work twenty four seven round the clock, three three hundred sixty five days a year, um, and we feel that we have been forgotten about through all this process. You know, wow. As you hear of everything on the news about nurses, obviously police. Yeah, so we we just one of them. Apparently, from what we've heard, there's 15 in the country or possibly worldwide, there's 15 other people, more jobs, more important than we are, the prison service. And we just find that hard to get around when we actually, yeah. That's interesting in terms of it being placed in, that, you know, placed in that context yeah. to say that there is course, yeah. other key workers. And I think what's really interested me as well was when people are talking about essential and non-essential shops i yeah. didn't appreciate the language it's, that has evolved since we've come into lockdown as well so yeah, yeah that's mm, weird yeah. yeah martin what you work from home i do what do you do and how has it been for you during this past two three months well i mean the the weird thing is I, I've I've been working from home for like the last five years. So for me, it hasn't been that much of a change. And I, I work for a company called SDL and I work on support services for our clients who use our software. So again, for me, it's been, oh, you work from home now. Okay, I'll just do the same thing. So it, it, it's weird because also my wife and I homeschool the children. 
So, you know, now everyone's all of a sudden working from home and homeschooling. So for us, it's been like, it's just another day, but we're seeing how for everyone else it's been so hard because, oh my goodness, now I have to figure out, you know, stopping working is one thing. Uh, people, you know, when I first started working from home, I would work, you know, just keep working until, oh, it's dark outside. I have to go downstairs and eat some food or something. So it's, you know, it's a weird complaint to have, but you forget about having a routine and, and the people actually finding that it's actually hard to work from home because you don't have the routine of getting up, going to an office, sitting down, you know, leaving as an office worker. You're suddenly at home working all the time or trying to find somewhere to work or you have children or whatever. And I'm, I've been lucky that I'm, I'm in a situation where I'm used to this and also with the homeschooling, you know, we're used to that. So all the complaints now, and I think that one of the good things about this whole lockdown is that people probably appreciate teachers a bit more that they do a lot more work than they think and keeping children entertained and having like a schedule and structure is is hard uh so it, it's it's i know it's it's terrible but th that that could be one of the, the few good things that people people are seeing how other people are you know having to work through this and you know having to adjust your schedules and all of a sudden you've got your family here and you know you, you're on a, on a call and you know people are knocking at your door and you know it, it's it's been really interesting that people are not only getting close together by you know realizing hey there are other children and other people in situations like me it's not just i'm by myself that's been my my, my takeaway I know, I know everything's not perfect but uh that's one of the bright spots i've seen that other people know that this is hard for everyone so you know but, we, we can sort but of know hearing it. hearing how how you do uh dave i mean i you know you don't even think about you know oh guy's working in prison he's got to look after people 24 7 a day and you know then going home uh for me i'm at home all the time so you know i i go out come in wash my hands make sure you know but for you you're in a situation where you have to make sure everything is you know you have to have that delineation between i'm outside and now inside and that's that's yeah. something i i didn't really think about and you know that, that um oh gosh yeah it's I should be talking about me. Sorry. <laughs> this is about, no, this is about yeah, you yeah. both. And, and I yeah. give credence to both of you because it takes a lot of energy to, to do what you do. And for both of you as dads. And